out here in New York City in Times Square. So those of you following my channel, you know I got this new Fujifilm X-T3. I'm very minimalist out here in Bryant Park, New York City, enjoying a Sunday on Raspberry Lemonade. I have no microphone attached to this. There's no battery grip, there's no cages. Just going plain old camera and just taking some photos of New York City. So uh, join me on this walk and check out some of these photos. By the way, everything I'm posting is gonna be the Fujifilm simulations from the Acros to the Provia. Everything I shoot today is gonna be Fujifilm simulations. I'm not doing RAWs, I'm not, I'm not editing anything. I'm just enjoying this walk and taking photos. So join me on this photo walk. I'll be honest with you, I'm not a big fan of the city. I'm not a big Manhattanite. I was born and raised in Brooklyn, but I'm out here because every Sunday I come out here to Times, uh, Times Square to do some video and uh, streaming work. Um, and so after, after that's done, I come out here and walk a little bit and take a look to see what's going on. But other than that, I would never be in the city, but it's cool for photography. There's, there's things here, it's not my kind of photo vibe. I like more industrial, more classic New York, but this is cool too. Alright, so that's it for today. This short photo tour in New York City on my Fujifilm X-T3. It's fun, it's exciting, I enjoy using this camera, and I broke every rule today recording this. Everything's been on automatic. Um, as far as filming, I, I'm not even following the, uh, the 180 rule. I'm just putting everything on automatic uh, and just shot. But some of the uh, photos I've shot were completely manual shooting. Uh, but as far as the camera system, I'm doing uh, completely automatic. Uh, I'm relying completely on the camera to capture the film and follow none of the rules that uh, apply to when you're filming. And so yeah, now that's it, ready to go home, edit this, throw it up there, and have a good one guys. See you next time, peace. So one of the things I have to mention in my walk in the city, uh, it was very discouraging. If you look at a lot of the photos and when I'm walking, it's really not that many people. Now, if you're not from New York City, you might think you saw a lot of people behind me, like crowds, but that's nothing. Um, back before the pandemic, it was shoulder to shoulder. It would have been very difficult for me to have filmed that, as opposed to now where the streets were like practically empty. And I was quite amazed, to say the least, like how empty New York City is right now um, and it's a big issue for New York City and I never quite realized it up until the summer because like so many people who are from New York I really didn't go anywhere a and me especially like I'm from Brooklyn I'm not really from the city but I remember the times I used to go to the city especially for any fairs or parades and how packed it was and I gotta say it was so easy to get around during this fair and that was quite I was quite taken back by that um, New York City has changed a lot a lot of people have left the city and it's crazy but I don't feel like anyone around me is talking about just how bad it is like that's that's bad this is in the heart of Bryant Park Times Square where all the tourists are at so you have regular New Yorkers and tourists and it wasn't packed that was a, a wow moment for me uh, just how bad ha has become here the situation has become here in new york city um this city needs to really focus on getting people back here uh because it is i can genuinely say i feel like today was an eye opener and i feel like maybe the city is falling apart and it's just quietly falling apart and nobody wants to address the issue and talk about it